Well, hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Gopher Den. I'm your host, Gopher Gopher. And today, we are here with Radiata Stories. So I hope you all brought your recruitment pants on, because we's going to go and kick some butt and do some recruiting. All right, I don't remember what we were doing last. I think I have to go turn tune in my quest. Open it up. Thank you. Let me out. Thank you. Awesome. Oh well, talking to Fanatic kind of tires me out. Oh. Sorry. Creatures of the sewer. Yes. Yeah, you better hurry to the sewers. Oh, the spider hole. After this, I want to go and try to recruit um, some more Fey people. I already have one. I have Gob. The oh, not his name's not Gob. It's a Goblin. Lin? His name is Lin. I got him. Oh, I want another. I want. A, I want elves. I want elves on my team. I don't want a dwarf. I want a dwarf. I want a so damn. If the pay isn't good enough, I wouldn't be here. Oh, it was a monster. I thought it was a person. I was confused. Nicely done, you two. My little magic boy over here blasting them away, and she's over here cursing them. Huh. Ah! See you dead. Yes. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Oh, I just hit like three of them at once.
bit out of here. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I'm about to level up. I'm level 27. Where does this go? Oh, something ran off. Where did it go? Oh my, that's creepy. There was something and it like scurried away. <gasps> it's a giant alligator. I'm, I'm, I'm that scared the, yep, all right. Let's not fight the giant alligator in the sewer. I'm assuming it's not, I'm not leveled up for that. Wow, these things are squishy. I really like using the spear. A oh, little mouse. Hold on. Stuff just happened. Wow, my team is like destroying things down here. Okay. I have no clue where I'm going or what I'm supposed to be doing. There is no direction. It just said, Path of Spiders, kill the monsters. And I'm like, okay. I really hope I can I know where I'm going. Looking at her, looking at you, looking at me. Oh, I guess this best so. <gasps> Jixie! Yay! The first person to show up in five days. I'm so happy. The world outside is beautiful. I can't believe how different it is down here. Ugh, and the smell is nasty. Well, I can hear the squishy sounds beneath my feet. It's gross, and it's in my shoes. Oh, I'd better just get this over with. Yeah, I, I've been streaming to empty air for the last four days. I just assumed you all didn't like me anymore. I'm just kidding. I know you love me. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's right, you're in Paris. How's that going? I want pictures. Yeah, Barry told me. He's jealous. He was like, you know that Jinxie? And I was like, yeah, they come into my stream. And he was like, wow, well, they're in Paris. And I was like, oh. What? I want a baguette. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat baguettes, but I want one. Italy, that's right, that's what it was. Italy. His geography is not so good. What gaming news? Are we talking about how Nintendo is once again throwing a massive tantrum and they're trying to sue PAL World again and they failed the last time so they'll fail this time too? Are we talking about that gaming news? Because I am so over Nintendo at this point in time being the bullies of the gaming industry that I'm really over them right now. I am so sick and tired of Nintendo. I'm sick and tired of them. They are mean. I don't know when they stopped being the loving Nintendo company that I am, we all grew up with, but they have turned into a money-hungry cesspool, and I am over them. I haven't bought anything new for my Switch in a long time because I'm so over how they're, how they're handling this. First of all, they took inspiration first from Dragon Quest and Shin Megami. So let's not pretend that Nintendo created the monster catching genre. They're just the first ones who decided to capitalize on the monster catching genre. And it's not even Nintendo, it's Pocket Pal. Okay, not Pocket Pal, the Game Freak, okay? They're owned by Nintendo, but they themselves are not Nintendo. I'm just over it. They're a multi-billion dollar company. Sit down and fuck off. You should be focusing your energy on making a decent Pokemon game. When was the last time you did that? Scarlet and Violet could have been so much bigger than they were. Y'all need to be worrying about your own shit and stop worrying about other companies. And stop worrying about the emulators and the ROMs. Like, you guys have much bigger fish to fry. No, I have no love for Nintendo right now. Seriously! And like, not that I didn't like Odyssey. Are you fucking kidding me? But like, let's be super honest. Mario Odyssey is short. Okay, it's short. I didn't 100% sent it, but I beat it in literally a day. I got it, beat it the next day. I have never beaten a Mario game so quickly before. Mario 64 took me months to beat. Mario Wonder was really good too, yeah. But was also very short, yes. Huh? <laughs> 
Oh my god, all of their employees left. Yeah, all their employees were just done with their shit and got up and left. That one blew me away. Because um, we were, they were discussing, they were in the middle of working on Control 2. And from what I understand, they were going to do more with the Alan Wake story. But now everyone's like, so what does this mean about Control 2 and Alan Wake? Are we getting more? Is it done? Yeah, no, Control is really good, and obviously so was Alan Wake. I haven't played Alan Wake 2 yet. We will be playing that um, as soon as I can afford it. Um, Barry was going to play Alan Wake 2. But I kind of want to play it. Oh, man. Well, that means when I play it, you won't be able to watch me because you're going to want to play it and you can't have spoilers. From what I understand, Control was... My problem with Control was I found the crafting system for the guns a little difficult to understand fully. There were times where I was like, wait a minute, am I powering up my part properly or am I doing it wrong? So basically I wound up beating the game and then I got to the expansion because the version that I bought came with a free, um, with the free DLC for Alan Wake for Control. So after I beat the game, the Alan, the Alan Wake, the Alan Wake story started and I just got, I couldn't beat it. Um, I found that the um, DLC for Control was mad hard. Yeah, Control was very unbalanced. There were times where I was like, I felt like the monsters were way too strong for where I was. Like, they were like, oh, go to this area. And I would go to that area and I would just feel like the new monsters were way more advanced than I was prepared for. Hello. Oh, Tony? I wanna put Tony on my team. I wanna put homeless Tony on my team. Uh, Tony, I will give you a purpose for your life. Come fight with me. I will give your life meaning, Tony. Um, I am fully planning on streaming the Plucky Squire. Um, Barry gave me permission to stream that one. He's cutting back on indie games and stuff and is going to be focusing more on, like, bigger games, like Final Fantasies and stuff. And he's going to let me play all these little indie titles and stuff. So I'm going to be your one-stop shop for retros and indies here in the Gopher Den. I'm going to be playing Terra Nova next. I don't know if anyone has seen Terra Nova, but it is an amazing furry RPG with dark cloud mechanics. I'm also going to be playing Dark Cloud 2. I love that game.
I really do hope that the plucky Spl squire does better than Game Freak's last attempt at an RPG. Did anybody play Little Town Hero? That game was so bad. It was graphically gorgeous, but the gameplay, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, but it was messy. Looking at you, looking at me, all this espresso. That's me, I guess so. Oh, wait a minute, I've been here. How did I dodge that crocodile this whole time? Isn't this where I found the floating contact? Wait a minute, doesn't that mean I can get... <gasps> can I get into the castle from here? I seriously... Pocket Bear has some great game... You know what pisses me off the most? They made that game Craftopia, which is literally Breath of the Wild, and they did nothing. But, oh no, we have Pal World, which is a combination of Pokemon and fucking Ark survival. And all of a sudden, now you want to go after Pocket Pair. But you didn't want to go after them with Craftopia, which is basically a Legends of Zelda clone. No, 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 no. We're fine with that, but how dare you make a monster catching game where a couple of your monsters look a little bit like Pokemon. I, oh, I don't know. Sony, because they're, Sony and Pocket Pair are co are um collaborators now i think sony bought pocket pair so that they could put they could help what is that what is what is what was that I don't know if they bought the entire company, Jinxie, or if they just bought the rights to Pal World. Either way, Sony and Pal World are a thing now. And um, they're going to help Pal World expand their game um, and make it even bigger, better, smoother. Um, um, the only thing fans are sad about is the game will remain free to play, 
But because it's Sony, Pal World will be adding microtransactions. However, the microtransactions are only for skins and stuff. So it's not like things you need to play the game. They're just, if you want to look cooler. They're going to be putting out skins for pals, too. So if I remember correctly, they have ideas for, like, a line of Halloween skins for some pals. Like, Catris is supposed to get a witchy outfit. So on and so forth. No, 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 no. That's why. That's why they don't want it to go free to play. Because they don't want it to turn into a microtransaction heavy game. Um, they want to keep it free to play for fans. Um, they don't want to turn it into another one of those, like, you know, Fortnite, you know, money dump games. Um, the microtransactions will just be for skins. Which I'm fine with. I'm, I'm okay with that. As long as the microtransactions don't adhere my ability to beat the game... And stuff, you can put them in as long as it's just for stupid stuff like skins and shit. I can live with that. I can totally live with microtransactions for skins and stuff. It's when you like mobile games where you hit that certain point in the game and you have to spend money because, or it takes hours and days to grind. <laughs> you stink kid. Oh, he's level 30? What? Yeah, I'm bringing you for a minute. Don't worry, Sunset. I'll bring you back, honey. I'm just dying to know what he can do. I'm thinking he fights with a fishing pole. friend hey there. okay all right I gotta figure out where to take the book of fairies I don't remember who I gotta give that to oh and he wants the dwarf liqueur okay hold on Okay, hold on, Aldo. There we go, Aldo, where are your locations? Oh, he's a spear user! Alright, what time are we at right now? Okay, a little after th three, so we'll say four. Theaters! Oh! Travels to Theater Van Core's bathroom. That's weird.
Wait a minute. There he is, wait! Yes, it is! No! I found you, I got your butt. Who are you? Hello, lady. Wait a minute. Who's Alicia? I want her. Okay, so until 5.10, I can't talk to him. I'm going to absolutely stream the new Legends of Zelda. Um, I might let Barry do that because that's new, not retro. So I might let Barry do that because I already have a list of my games that I'm playing. So right now we're doing this game, Radiata Stories. Um, I've given up on Beyond the Beyond. Um, that's the PlayStation game we're also playing. Um, so right now, to I'm playing three game, three games. I am playing Radiata Stories, um, Beyond the Beyond, and Wrestle Quest. However, I have given up on Beyond the Beyond because the game is very frustrating. It is did not age well, um, and I didn't realize that when I started playing it. Um, I've been trying to play Beyond the Beyond since the PlayStation originally. Beyond the Beyond was the first game created by the team who made Golden Sun for the Game Boy Advance, if you guys remember those games. Um, but yeah, uh, so I was trying to beat that because Beyond the Beyond, the story is really good. But the problem is, for a majority of the game, you have this character on your team who is cursed. And this curse acts like poison. So the for most of the game, he slowly dies during your fights because he's cursed. So the, this most of this game, I'm trying to uncurse this character. And every time you think you're about to uncurse him, something ha else happens and blah, blah, blah. So it's just been, it's been really frustrating because he's constantly dying because of the stupid curse on him. And it's just like, it is a bad game mechanic. If it wasn't for that, the game would be better. But also, everyone has their own individual inventory. So you can only carry so many healing items in each person before their inventory is full. And their gear is also part of their inventory. So you already have slots taken up by your armor, your headgear, your weapon, and your foot gear. So that's four slots already taken on top of all the slots that you need for heal. And they don't stack. So when you buy an herb, it's not five herbs. Each herb is an individual item. It's just a really, really bad, 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 bad early RPG mechanics. The graphics are fantastic. It is one of those few games that graphically hold up today and looks like it's a nowadays indie game. So graphically, the game still holds up, but everything else about it does not. So I have given up on Beyond the Beyond officially last night. I cannot play it anymore. It's fine. And we've also given up on the Sailor Moon Super Nintendo RPG because it is historically unbalanced. I don't think I've ever played an unbalanced game as bad as the Sailor Moon Super Nintendo RPG. Except for the Tenchi Muyu Super Nintendo RPG, which we have also given up on. I don't know what is up with some of these early anime-inspired RPGs, but my god, the companies didn't know what they were doing. 
So, for now, I will be playing Radiata Stories and replacing Beyond the Beyond with Jade Cocoon, which was PlayStation's answer to Pokemon. And it's only 15 hours long, so we'll beat that in no time. I can beat you. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> oh, what were you saying? I'm sorry. I can't hear you over me kicking your ass. Something about don't get a big head? Uh. Oh my god, I don't know how Barry does it. It drives me crazy trying to watch him. It frustrates me. I'm watching him and I'm like, weren't you just playing something else three days ago? And then something else before that the day before? But ADD gamers love him for that reason. Me, I'd like to think of myself as a little more organized. You can't tell him that I'm talking poo-poos about him. Oh. My God, he would lose his shit. Could you imagine him playing two games at once? <laughs> I think he could do it. I think he could do it. I can imagine him a left screen playing Soon Wood Kong and on the right screen he's got Sims 4. Where is the last word bookstore? There it is. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Get back in there. Hey there. Hi, Clive. Bye, Clive. I don't know what you were doing, Clive, but it was weird, Clive. Looked like you were practicing reaching dog or something. There he is. I found him. Come back here! I have your book! No! Yeah! <laughs> Join me!
All right, let's see. Whose luck needs some touching up? Let's do you. All right, defense, 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 defense. Damn, girl! Aiden's defense is better than yours. Oh, but you're in va- Oh, God, her invasion. What is wrong with her? She's, like, low-key really bad. Welcome. I want to sell stuff. Hold on. I have things I don't need. Like this. And this. And that. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Goodbye. All right, to our next mission, which is apparently here at the the holy the holy church. Who are you? Hello. Well, I don't like your tood. I'm just saying. I don't care for it, Miss Thing. Snippy snap in a Z queen. Ooh, cutscene! <laughs> I just have to find the Stone of Miracles, right? Yes, that is correct. Is there a problem? Not really. It's just that. How will I be able to find it? I I don't know what it looks like. Do not worry about that. We of the Olasian Order have located the stone. The stone we seek can be found in Septium Cave. Oh, well that should be pretty easy then. I hope you can help us. The cave is beyond the Aiden region. It will be a long journey. However, I trust you will be able to return with the stone. Leave it to me. Soon we will have the stone that the late priestesses Nijila was searching for. This will bring happiness to the people. It is said that it can heal all of the sick and unwell. So then why all these important people have been looking for it? Yes, priestess Angelia searched earnestly for this stone. If it weren't for the illness, she would still be with us. She was one of the most remarkable people in our civilization. It sucks when people die. You ignorant fool! Whoa! You scared me. She disappeared somewhere after catching the illness. She is alive. She left so as not to cause grief to others. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Well, leave everything to me. I'll be sure to find you that stone. Okay, hold on. There's a trilogy that I can recruit. Talk to Garcia outside the house just past Septim Cave. Okay. 
between 7 to 10 a.m. All right, we're going to go rest. And move the clock forward. Is it midnight? All right. Let's go. Wait a minute. Non-guild members are important to recruit because if I'm not mistaken, they're the ones who stick with you even after you choose whether or not to stay with the humans or work with the non-humans. I don't know what to expect in these septum caves, so I'm buying everything. Okay, what is that? Earth Valley. One of these... One of these villages, hold on, has the... Has a kid goes on about potatoes or something, and I, get, I can recruit him, but I gotta answer his questions correctly. And this is not that location. Hold on. I think it's Nuevo Village. I'm not fighting you guys. I'm like twice as strong as everything here. It wouldn't even be worth it for me. From what I understand, this kid... Oh no, he's not here. I think I pissed him off. I answered the question wrong. Which I'm guessing led me to not being able to recruit him anymore. That's really frustrating. Alright, that's fine. Really? 
Oh, well, that's fucking depressing. All right. Guess I'm going on foot. Nope, no, 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 wrong way, okay. I do want this way. The map is very confusing to read because I'm not exactly ever really truly sure which direction I am truly facing in. I'm really annoyed. I wanted to recruit the kid. From what I understand, he's a high crit character. He fights with a pitchfork. And from what I understand, the pitchfork is supposed to be, he's got high luck. And high lux deal a lot of crit damage. Which is why... I try to increase everybody's luck to some degree. And I think luck also influences the chances of them dodging. What is he fighting with? It's a... Lead pipe? So he fights like Lin and Sunset. I guess I should've just kept Sunset on my team. Come on, I'm almost there. Okay, there's a house. Uh, around here. Ew, he breathes a noxious breath out of his body and can cast status effects. Tony, you're gross. Tony is disgusting. Yes, you. You're fucking gross, dude. <laughs> he breathes a noxious yellow cloud and it causes status effects. That's fucking vile. What the fuck? Ew!
Oh yeah, she can cause cursing. Okay, um, I think I went the wrong way. Wish I could run faster. I'm gonna assume the house was down here. And I just went the wrong way. Are you fucking with me? Oh, screw off. Seriously? No, like, fuck off. Oh my god! We beat up Mammoth! Where are they? I'm in front of the private house. Um, okay. I'm at the house out front and they're not here. This is where they're supposed to be, in front of this house. They're supposed to be standing, like, right here. Alright, hold on. Garcia, Brennan, Wall. Between 7 and 10 a.m. Oh, between 7 and 10. Oh. Now I need to wait until 5. In game time. Well. While we're waiting, I guess we might as well go ahead and just go into the cave for now. Do some fighting and kill some time. Because I'm not leaving here until I talk to them. Ha! <laughs> 
be much less stressful if there was a teleporter around here. Thief Bangle! Holy leaping bugs, Batman. Holy leaping lizards. Ba 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 da! Curious on something. Hold on. I want to see if maybe there. While I'm waiting, I want to further explore. I want to know if there is a. I want to know if there is another teleporter maybe down one of the paths I haven't taken yet. Get away from me, you stupid ant. I'm very confused. I don't understand how this map is working right now. I'm very lost. Yeah, 
how am I going? I don't understand. How am I going that way? Like, that's not where I'm going. What happened? I don't understand this map. The map doesn't make any sense where the turns and the fucking turn offs are. I, I don't understand how to look at that. How am I like, how? Ugh! I hate this fucking map. I hate it so goddamn much. It's so infuriating. Like, how does that, how is that up here? How is, I don't understand. I don't understand how to read the fucking map and I'm over it. We're going this way because this way leads to an area I haven't been to yet. And I would really like to find a fucking teleporter at this point in time. There's gotta be one somewhere. Oh, right, I can't go this way. You jerks! Oh, god damn it! He's resistant to poison. Because he was in the sewers. Like a dirty vagabond. Haha, <laughs> I kicked the cheetah. Oh no! Never mind. All right. I didn't realize he was dead and I had won. <gasps> Aiden's almost level 30. When Le Aiden reaches level 30, I can go back to the magic place and recruit another character. Well, I don't know who it is, but I can't wait. If it's new, it's for me. I think it would have been funnier if Tony used a fishing link, uh, fishing rod, but that's just me.
So I can't go this way, and I can't go further to the right. So there's just no teleporter here. Everything here has to be trans tra traveled to on foot, which is ridiculous. Looks like a turtle. to run to the bathroom real quick so i'm gonna let i'm gonna leave this area run to the bathroom and then come back and hopefully it'll be five all right guys i will be right back fucking time comes back around i'm irritated Yeah, that's fucking bullshit. Whatever. Fuck. So ridiculous.
just so tedious. I still can't believe there's not a teleporter here. Oh, right. I already have you. and see if I can get there. I wish I had control over how long he sleeps. Like, put in how much time or the option to just sleep all day. Night, whatever. Oh! Hi! Lugnir, second person to show up all week. I'm glad y'all didn't forget about me. Oh, well, look at that, a third person. Not bad, it's nice to have people. I've been streaming all week by myself. I've been so sad. It's so good to see you all. Oh, well, hello, Hoisin. Welcome in. Ah! I've been so lonely. Oh, no. Are you sick? Or did you drink all night? You party animal. Oh no. Big sick, not good. Well, I'm sorry, you're sick. Oh no, that's totally fine. I just missed you guys, that's all. I hope you're doing okay, Hoisin. I hope your partner's okay. Tis the season for everybody to start getting sick. Fa la 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 at you. I got yak. Oh, 
Oh, so is it, is it, is it serious? What do you th is the flu or do you think you have COVID? Because when I had COVID, I felt like I was dying. And then I got it four more times and each time it was less worse. <laughs> Until the fifth time and then it just felt like I had a cold. Ugh. They figured it out and it was none of it was none of the scary things. Hi. Hi. So you need me to go into the septum Hi. cave. Okay. I did it. I found him. Let's go. I will find your friends and the stone. Let's go. Hey, froggy. Leap, bitch. Did you see that? I kicked Toad in the face. Do a barrel roll, asshole. Where's your barrel roll, Mr. Frog? Oh, is that petrified? It wasn't paralyzed. It was petrified. Okay, so it's a statue symbol.
Hey, are you Garcia's friends? Yes, that's right. The two of us came here alone. Please do something. All right. <laughs> uh, I'ma beat your ass. I'ma save him. Stupid turtle. Oh wow, he's he's really big. You guys are doing... You're hitting them so... Wow. That was easy. Right. I thought that was going to be like a really difficult little mini boss fight or something. Aw, I spanked his little turtle hiney. Hello. I spanked it real good. I spanked it. I spanked it real good. Bam, 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 bam. Just beat that turtle ass. Dun, 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 dun. I kicked his fucking tail. Ba, 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 ba. Cause I'm a gopher bitch. Ba -da, ba -ba -ba. Don't step on my da -da 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 -da. That worm, that blizzard just came right up at me. Did you see that? Up out of nowhere, you vicious little fuckwad. Get out of my face. Get out of it. Ah, stab him a million times. Stabby stab. Yeah. Ah, do a barrel roll. Yeah, do a barrel roll, fucking dick. I learned twist strike. Twist and strike. Twist and strike. Na na na. Twist and strike. Twist and strike. Oh, I have a lot more room for moves. Okay, well. Shit. Okay, quick shaft, middle, horizontal combo. Not to be confused with Twisted Sister. Ah. <laughs> Twisted Sister. What song do they sing? I know that band. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who they are. Yeah. Thank you, Hoisin. Yeah, no, not at uh, school's out for the summer. I think that. I don't think that's them, right? Is it? No, isn't that um Pink Floyd? Or is that another brick in the wall? I'm not really sure. I'm not good with old bands because I don't like a lot of the older bands, but I do. So my thing is, I like songs from older bands, but a majority of older bands, I don't like all of their music. So like, you know, um, just a city girl living inside. Uh, like, I love a couple of their songs, but even them, I don't like all their music. Um, Hootie and the Blowfish. Um, I like a couple of their songs, but not a lot of their music. Um, like, Litter in. When the tears run down and nah, let her cry. Like, I love that song. Isn't that always the worst when you can see it, but you can't remember it?
Black Sabbath. Nope, so Black Sabbath is another one of those bands where I like a couple of their songs, but I don't like everything by them. Oh my god, do you remember that band? What was it called? Chumbawamba? <laughs> the name always made me giggle. Yeah, we're not gonna take it. I know that. We're not gonna take it. Yeah, I know that song. I like that song. Yeah, cause we're not gonna take it. Oh no, it's a no turtle. Peaches and cream. I want to get you in the back of limousine. Try to jump on me. on him. Blind is weird. I don't like the way it looks. Ugh. Get it off me. Ooh. 
Heal me, bitch. All right, you're literally not... Okay, you need to attack the... What is happening? Thank you. You have to attack the tentacles. Oh my god, this creature is obnoxious! We did it! I got a new spear called the Leviathan. Now all I have to do is deliver the stone and I'm done. From what I understand, the Stone of Miracles is like a major turning point story um, item. So I think this mission is going to cause a big ruckus in the kingdom because supposedly this stone can like cure you of everything it's like the ultimate cure-all
And Aiden, I gotta take him and get him all patched up. I mean, uh, take him to the magic school. Because there's a character there who, once he reaches level 30, will join your team. I need a... <laughs> Alright. Well, this is what I'll do. I'll take my little gopher ass into the septum caves myself. I will fight the octopus just for you, Lugnir. And then I'll bring it back and I'll grind it into a poultice for you. Look at me. Look at me using D&D &D terms. Poultice and grinding and Cure all, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will single handedly cure you. Tofer to the rescue. Da 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 da. When you're doing a little mask, when you get a little mask, give me that hawk twa. When she spit on that thing, when you make a little thing, give me that hawk too. Cause it ain't no way I'm gonna come back with like that hawk too. Taking me forever to get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. I was supposed to be done with my game like 19 minutes ago. But, like, for some stupid reason, all the monsters respawn the minute you leave the area. Like, if I had left the cave completely, fine. But this is just obnoxious. Oh, 
I know I'm supposed to be heading back over to the castle, but I want to go make sure that I got their teammates back. Ah! I had to come back at five? Ugh, but I saved your stupid friends! Okay. What time is it? Oh my god. So you have to play this game twice in order to get everybody because you have to choose eventually the side of the humans or the side of the fae. I'm going to choose the side of the fae for our first playthrough because from what I understand, the fae have a more interesting storyline in this game than the human side. Okay, so he wants the milk. Oh. He wants Tarvia milk. I wonder if I can... Oh, no! So his wind spell does not hit in Okay. I'm only bringing Aiden until he... I recruit that character with him. And he needs to be level 30, which he is now, so... Ah! Stop running into monsters! Especially these things!
All right, there's some kind of milk farmer here. This the cow? No. I need your milk, milk, milk. I need, I need your milk. Oh, I am milk. Yeah, here, I need milk. Oh, annoying. Stop getting back attacks on me. What the fuck? <laughs> One more back attack and I swear to God. Kicking so much by in this game. Nothing up here? Just monsters to kill for you all? Whatever. I saved your barn, bitch.
All right, how do I get the tree on milk? Tarkin. Who's Tarkin? Why is there a mouse in your house? What? Why are there so many of them? Can I not get the milk now? All right, whatever. I don't care. Anymore. Let's get out of here. All right, we're leaving. No, why do monsters keep randomly spawning in this place? Y'all have an infestation problem. And it's not letting me get the Taria milk now. So I'm leaving, I don't care. All right, we're gonna go turn, we're gonna go get those guys that I just saved from the Septium Cave and we're wrapping this up, we're done. I'm done, I have to wrap it up. We are 30 minutes past my stream time and I still have to run to town and pick up some stuff. IRL, not, not EG, IG. Hi. Sick. I got him.
I'm not fighting any of you. You all stay away from me. I'm way too strong to be fucking around with you guys. Ah, go, 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 go! I love that in this game, your armor changes its appearance depending on what you're wearing. I love that. And this is a PS2 game. So what are your other role-playing excuses? Final Fantasy, I'm looking at you bitches. Unless you're playing Strangers in Paradise. the first time I played this game, I couldn't figure out how to recruit anybody, and now I have so many friends, I don't know who I want on my team anymore. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Alright, we're gonna wrap this up. Let's go save it. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> I wish you had a teleport spell or an item. I don't even have that in this game. That's stupid, too. I don't have any way to, like, just teleport back to the home city. All right, we're gonna save it before we go in. Hi. Fuck you, Flow. I'm gonna go turn in the mission real quick because I wanna see if it's gonna trigger something. I also want different teammates, except for Lulu. Actually, no, I'm not going to go turn it in. We're just going to end it here. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for coming. I had a really good time with you all today. I was so happy to see the three of you guys come out. I appreciate the company. Lugnir, feel better. Poison, I hope that your partner feels better. And to everybody else out there, I hope you all have a great night. Remember, keep your nose wet and your tails fluffy. Bye, guys.